In this video, we'll discuss updating the software in the TI Inspire CAS CX handheld. What you need for this is your docking station, which will hold 10 calculators, the student handhelds, and then a cable, which has a standard USB at one end and a mini USB on the other end. When you connect these together, you insert the mini USB into the import on the docking station and then the standard USB connects into your computer. You can also daisy chain two or three of these docking stations together by using the in and out port on the back of the docking station. Ultimately, you just need one standard USB to connect back into your computer so that you can update the software on 20 or 30 calculators at one time. To get the software for updating your calculators, you need to come to the Texas Instruments Education Technology website and look at downloads. When you click on Software and Updates, you'll see a variety of selections for you. Please click on TI Inspire CAS CX. We're going to look for updates for the handheld operating system. And when we get to the next page, You'll see our TI Inspire CASIX handheld operating system information here. When I click on that, I'll notice that there's a download. Um, these are just different languages, but there's a download here. And when I scroll over, I can see the version of the download, 4.2.0.532. When you're in the handheld, you can check what version it is by looking at the menu and settings. We're going to opt to download this operating system. It comes here for me in the bottom left of my screen, but for you it might just appear in your download. Once your download has finished, you want to transfer your download to your desktop so that you know where to access it. We're then going to minimize our browser. When I open my teacher software, you'll notice that we have two tabs here, one for content and one for documents. I want to stay in the content tab and I'm able to see information on my computer as well as access to the TI and, um, website, web content, activities, etc. As I look down here, I can see this is where my docking station is connected and I have two student calculators in my docking station. For me to find the software, I'm going to click on desktop because that's where I saved it to. And when I come over and look at desktop, I see right here, TI Inspire CX CAS. Here's the update that I just downloaded. So I click on that update, come up to Tools, Transfer Tool, and now I want to transfer a file to the student handhelds. So I have to look for my file. Here I am in desktop. Click on that, select. Now I have my update that I want to transfer. So I'm going to highlight that and click Start Transfer. You can watch here uh, the, the speed at which the transfer is happening. And again, I'm monitoring over here in the left-hand pane. These are the calculators within the docking station. Once the software has finished updating, you'll notice that I've lost the um, indicator that those handhelds are there. That's telling me that the soft date, software update was successful. Then I remove the calculators from the docking station, hit any adjustments to settings, and power them off. 